Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel where I like to share any and all things that bring me joy, hence the name Share Elation. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the luxury items that I do not purchase anymore. This is related to one of my previous videos where I talked about irrelevant luxury. So have a watch on, on that one if you haven't seen it yet. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Similarly, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this as well. If you agree or disagree with me or are there are other luxury items that you don't buy anymore. So you'll see that some of these items were mentioned in my last video, specifically these larger wallets from Louis Vuitton and the Key Clay. If I were to start over now, the prices of some of these items have gotten up so much, it's increased more than double from what I paid, specifically talking about the mini pochette here. You see I have two. I don't have the regular monogram one, but instead I have the Damir Azur and Damir Abin print. And I find a lot of joy using this because it's very handy, it fits a lot, it's very easy to put in your bags. However, I've noticed a lot of uh, different companies uh, produce things very similar to this. And I'm specifically talking about the items on Dress Up Your Purse because there is a collaboration that another YouTuber called Hello Catwalk City did with um, the creator or the, the owner of that particular uh, store or boutique. And there are items that are very similar in size to the mini pochette and the key clay. Personally, I think I would buy that because the prices of these now are just just ridiculously high. It It is an item that, you know, you would want because it's it's Louis Vuitton, right? It's classic. Everyone knows it. It is very handy, but is it worth it? To me, the mini pochette probably isn't worth it anymore unless you can find something in the pre-loved market that is more reasonably be reasonably priced and the condition is good. I still think that the key clay is probably worth it if you're into this look and this vibe. The canvas material is very durable as you know and it is very carefree to use. Um, I'm currently using this um, this one which is from the men's line and I'm using this mini pochette um, in the Damier of Bean print. I'm using it only because I have it. So that's another thing that I've come to realize recently is like, I wanna use what I have. I wanna enjoy what I have. And is this something that we really still need? If I didn't have it now, I probably wouldn't be so bothered to get it. And it's, it wouldn't be on my top wish list item to get something like this because you can easily uh, use something like uh, the items from Dress Up Your Purse, which I'll provide the link down below, or there are other alternatives. So there's these kind of pouches from Muji, and it's very inexpensive, very lightweight. You can see somewhat similar in size, and it's you know just carefree, easy to use, that, and it's um, it serves the same purpose. It of course doesn't provide the same look, so that's the other factor that you would need to think about for um, items that you would put in here. So this I use a little bit like a catch-all or like a cosmetic pouch. And the good thing about something like this is not only is it inexpensive, if you get it dirty, it's probably a little easier to wipe down and clean. And if it's if it isn't, it's it it won't break the bank if you had to replace it. Now, the other option I have are pouches from, I mean, there are pouches from many different companies, but I personally like something like this from Le Sport Sac. Now, they're known for their nylon pieces, very, again, lightweight and durable. It holds a lot. I always use this when I go traveling. So I will soon be in Japan with my family again, and I, I carry things like this. I, I put some toiletries in here, some makeup products, because it's just easier to bring than something like this, and I don't have to worry so much about it. So worrying is another factor that I consider these days. It's like, do I wanna put things that can leak and spill into something like this and would be potentially hard or impossible to clean? Or do I wanna use something like this, which is not as pretty, you know, not as fancy, but there are different patterns that you can get from the sports sack or any other brand and just do something like this and use that and put it in your bag. Um, other options are 
kind of free items. So I got this pouch from Jo Malone when I purchased some perfume from them. Uh, I think it was like a Black Friday sale where it comes with a, like a little cosmetic pouch with a smaller size perfumes or hand creams. And this serves the same purpose. And I would say even, even you know, more carefree because this was technically free. So it makes me think like, is this something that you would still want to buy and put your money towards given the price increases? Now, here's another thing that I want to talk about are coin purses. I don't have many coin pouches or purses from any luxury brand. This is the only one I have, which I did get pre-loved from Rebag and it's the Hermes Bastia. I don't know why I got it. I mean, I saw a good deal. I had a coupon and I just went for it and I really like the color. Now, I know there are many other uses for this particular item you can put, you know, you can use it as a catch-all similar to this where you put less items in and it's just something you put in your bag. But there's something that somebody said to me once that really stuck with me and made me really think like, is this really worth it? I mean, it's not a, a, a huge dollar amount, but certainly compared to something like this, which is a very random little piece from Urban Outfitters years and years ago that still works pretty well. And I actually use this to put coins and cash in. I fold it in half and it, it slides right in and I put some coins in here. And you can see because of the coins, it has gotten dirty inside. And actually I noticed that it has this little top flap that you can pour the coins out as well. So this design, although people say it is very, uh, functional where you can slide the coins and it, it slides down here as well. Clearly something like this where, when I got it probably like ten dollars or less has the same design and function and the thing that somebody said to me which stuck with me and made me think and actually gave me the idea for this video is why would you buy something that's uh, let's say about two hundred fifty dollars or more I'm, depending on the leather and, and finish it, it the, of course the price varies why would you buy something like this to put coins in when the value of what's inside is way less than the value of the item like what's the point in that when it gets dirty and it's not even like if you lose it you're losing more than just the coins you're losing the full item which is worth hundreds of dollars and what's the point in that like why would you buy something to put something of less value inside. I guess you could say the same thing for all of these items. And at the end of the day, they're all just luxury items that you don't really need and you can survive without it. But that's what got me thinking and which made me realize, like I don't think I would ever buy another coin purse or another cosmetic pouch or another full size wallet because per my previous video, I feel like larger size wallets are a little bit irrelevant. And even some of these, um, like uh, I guess you can consider this as a pouch, but um, you know, a card holder, you can use other brands. Uh, I would say of all these items, I would find this a little bit more relevant for my lifestyle, right? Like I wanna be able to use and enjoy my items, not have to worry about it um, and not to be afraid to use it. And I would say this still falls into that category where I still feel that way. And, and having two is more than enough, right? I have two of these, I have two wallets, um, you know, so having just one of these is, is great. And honestly, I, I would still, I still think this is a not, to me, it's a, this actually is a little bit of an irrelevant luxury as well, but I have it. So I want to use it uh, because lately I have been thinking about what I should use my money towards and what makes the most sense for me to have, because I do have a decent collection. I know there are some people that have more or less, but for me, it's more than enough. And I actually want to downsize a little bit more because when I go away on vacation, whether it's even like a couple of days or a couple of weeks, more so if it's a couple of weeks, I find that I need to hide these items within my house because I'm afraid. I'm afraid of you know, the unfortunate um, thing that could happen where maybe maybe somebody breaks into my house or God forbid something happens within the house where uh, like 
you know there's a there's a, a there's a leak in the ceiling from like water and I, I don't want water damage on these things and it makes me think and get anxious about what will happen with these luxury items that's just sitting in my closet when I'm off on vacation and typically for myself when I go on vacation I really don't use my luxury items like I'll carry things like the clay or even the mini pochette and put it in like a crossbody bag like a nylon bag or something and use that as my day-to-day -day bag but I usually don't carry my luxury handbags because when I'm going on vacation I, I don't want to be afraid and catch um I don't want to have so many eyes on me and and have uh, too much attention and certainly I wouldn't bring like an Hermes bag maybe like the Evelyn but I think you know what I mean. So I, I typically don't use things like that. Now going to Japan is a little bit different because I feel like it's very safe and it's very clean there. You don't have to really worry about getting it dirty. And I, I just overall feel very safe carrying luxury items there. But even then, I usually don't because I'm there with my kids. We're, we're running around, we're eating a lot, and I don't want to risk getting it dirty and just having to worry about all these things like getting caught in the rain and and so in that sense that's why I am thinking like should I downsize and really try to keep a very curated collection I do have like about one or two handbags that I'm thinking of letting go and trying to see like where what is the best platform for me to sell it to get as much of my money back as possible but I would love to have a conversation with you down below how you feel about things that luxury items that you don't buy anymore. And for me, some of these do fall into that category. Now, it is different for me because I actually have it. And now if you don't, I would be interested to hear your thoughts on that as well. Like, is this something you would still want to get like the mini pochette, um, given the price increases and all that and, and where, it, where they're pricing it today versus a couple of years back? Um, so would love to have a conversation with you down below and have some, you know, mindful, uh, f you know, uh, meaningful discussions with you and just getting some of your thoughts on, on how this topic. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it um, helpful or, you know, maybe it makes you think about some things that you have and what you want to spend your money on versus save for something else. So I hope you have a happy and healthy rest of your day and I will see you and talk to you in my next video. Thanks. Bye.